Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. I'm sharing this morning a portion of the gospel reading for tomorrow, the fifth Sunday after Epiphany. It is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is therefore thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. A candle lit from the candles on the altar is often given to the newly baptized with these words, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. The light that is taken from the altar is to remind us that without the light of Christ, we have no light of our own. Jesus is the light of the world. Also, according to the Gospel of John, chapter 8, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Without him we will continue to live in darkness. His light is a gift to us to be shared with others. What good is it if we do not let our light shine, if we do not profess Christ, and as we at least attempt to do what is good and right? It is about as good as salt that has lost its saltiness. It is good for nothing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the light of Christ so shine through us that others might see that light and know the giver of light who himself is the light, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.